This is my first attempt at uh, adding a laser to uh, the CNC. I added the laser on the spindle. This is a 15 watt um, solid state laser and um, it's one of these uh, cheapo lasers that I paid uh, $120 on eBay. This is right here is the first cut that I've made so uh, it was very impressive at the beginning. Uh, just being to do something uh, with it is impressive at the beginning. That of course is my name and um, well what happened uh, it was easy to set up and easy to uh, to have it work the uh, problem started showing up when I started cutting so I needed a hundred percent laser power and when that happened um, it's just uh, I, I couldn't get the second or the subsequent cuts done because it just wouldn't go through and so that's when I found that the laser had been um, degrading um, also the laser is a bit underpowered if you want to cut anything uh, even if it's a 7 watt laser uh, and you are able to cut acrylic uh, the, the drill or the spindle is much better at doing that than the laser. Of course if you have something that you can't touch like fabric or some you want to engrave on wood then the laser is perfect because well it's very tolerant of depth and um, it's um, it, it's just another tool. Let the cutting be done with the cutter and the burning be done with the laser. Now, uh, yeah, this uh, right now is a picture of it engraving. I think the speed was set as 1200 uh, millimeters a second. And um, all in all, at that point, I was very satisfied with it. Um, but the 15 watts is an overrating because the most powerful laser and the most powerful solid state laser in one chip is the Nietzsche uh, 7 watt um, uh, solid state laser so you can't get 15 watts uh, unless you really overdrive the laser and at that point it will just degrade really really badly um, so after this cut here, um, the laser just uh, it didn't perform as well, and the subsequent cuts didn't work. So I was a bit deceived because uh, it seemed like a waste of money. If I had known that uh, when I purchased it, I wouldn't have purchased it. Um, but I was not deceived by how the laser actually worked, so I did purchase another laser. Uh, and uh, I will make further videos uh, with the new laser and how I uh, purchased it and uh, uh, what you should be looking for and what you could do with it. Um, again, a 7 watt laser is, can cut cardboard. Maybe it's not the best tool for doing it. Maybe it is uh, because it doesn't actually touch the uh, the uh, object that you're cutting. So um, for engraving the 7 watt um, laser is much better. So uh, see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.